Hi, this is Eve Star with Eve Star Fiber Arts, and I am unveiling the fibers that I dyed today. I'm taking the foil off. I do a method that I think works really well. Um, I first saw it demonstrated online uh, by B Blue Barn Fibers, and it's so much better than trying to use a stove top. Uh, sometimes people, you know, kind of boil it. And you don't need that. The, with acid dyeing, you need to add acid, which is vinegar is what I use. You can also use citric acid to the water. I add it to my dye as well. And then um, I put it in a pan like you see here. These are dedicated I, I got for this. I got them at Amazon for like eight bucks a piece. Big Pyrex like lasagna pans. Put it in the oven at about 250 for about 45 minutes. And it being winter time, the house is cooler, and so they cool off really quickly. Um, in the summertime, I just let them sit all night in the dye bath. And it might surprise you if you haven't done much dye, dyeing before that you can put these kind of colors next to each other in the same pan. But they strike very quickly. The pigment that's in there hits the fiber, and it's there. It doesn't really migrate or move around. It's surprising, like even underneath, it's light. Now, for me, this isn't a problem at all because I've got a drum carter, and that's where I blend it and I make it more uniform. And I can make it uh, look kettle dyed, or I can make it look more, you know, more um, distributed through the entire fiber. Now, I also have in here some bunny. And what I did uh, when I washed it was um, I made myself some liners for my little plastic wash tubs out of some tool like you use for bridal veils but it's real soft and, and it was inexpensive and that way these really thin bunny fibers wouldn't slip through and that worked out really well I purposely did some in uh, a dark gray with some some blue in it some purple uh, for a friend who has given me a bunch of angora fibers and so I wanted to give some to her and for the lovely lady that provides all of her sweetie bunnies fur so anyway that's how I do it and it really works for me today I did about six pans worth I also did some superwash merino and some add-ins like cashmere and um, what's the other one it, it's a, like a really fine nylon uh, I use it a little bit I don't like too much of it in there so I like the natural fibers so anyway, I just thought I'd share a few tips about oven dyeing because I think it's the way to go. My fibers stay very soft. Uh, the, the, the color sticks. It, it stays very color fast. And uh, it's just, to me, the easiest way to do it. And it's turned out great every time for the last year and a half, two years now. So that's the way I do it. So this is Eve Star with Eve Star Fiber Arts. And in the next couple days, uh, I'll be spinning and carding this up I'll show you how I make my Rolex which is my favorite thing to spin with and so this is part one of uh, my dyeing uh, oven dyeing using bunny and superwash merino see y'all soon